Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be testing out the official will later android 10.0 glipsy build on our low end android device now it's been a very long time since i tested out emulators on my low end android device with a snapdragon 4 gen 1 processor as you will be able to see which only has 6 gb of ram out of which only 2.5 gb is actually available previously i have tested out many versions of will later on this android device but now that the official will later android 10.0 beta 2 with native glipsy support is here the performance has gone up and that's what i want to find out in today's video as you guys can see beta version 2 was also updated recently so that's what we'll be checking out i have already added the win later 10.0 on this low end android device i'll be setting it up showing you guys the best settings as well as gameplay test of multiple games with that being said if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel let's start setting up the simulator right away so we'll go to the settings bar here make sure to set the box 64 version as 0.34 afterwards scroll down on box 64 preset make sure to set it as performance duplicate it and then tap on edit set the safe flags level to 0 and tap on okay once that has been done now we'll create our new container where we'll be setting the screen resolution as 800 by 600 in terms of graphics driver we get the 25.0.0 graphics driver and currently there are no new graphics driver that needs to be imported so we'll go with this default version in terms of dx wrapper let's go with dxvk 2.4.1 which has been selected by default afterwards we'll enable show fps option scroll to the advanced settings here box 64 preset set it as the performance preset that we just created startup selection as aggressive windows version as windows 7 and that's about it we have successfully applied the best settings audio driver set it as pulse audio let's tap on the tick mark to create our brand new windows container inside our low end android device with that being said let me show you guys the games that we'll be testing out in today's video so guys in today's video we'll be testing out three games which are the three most important games that will provide us with proper benchmark if the performance of win later 10.0 has improved on low end android devices so i have the assassin's creed rogue grand theft auto 4 as well as amazing spiderman 2 all of these are very high graphics high end pc triple a titles of their own time so let's get started with assassin's creed rogue right away to find out how well does this windows emulator work on low end devices now that the glipsy support has been added so here i'll just got an enable virtual gamepad input controls at the top left corner you will be able to see the fps bar has been enabled so we'll get an correct idea of how well does our game actually Work. So there we go. Assassin's Creed Rogue. Press any key to start. So let me quickly go into game, and you will be able to see the on-screen touch controls still do not work, which is very very weird to be honest. So we gotta go to settings and make sure to import a new profile by going into import profile. And here we'll just go and import our GTA 5 profile because it works the best with almost all games. Now we'll go back and here. you will be able to see gta 5 has not been updated so that's the only part which i hate about this update of win later android virtual gamepad doesn't work and the developer hasn't released a fix for it that's too bad anyways here we go now our on screen touch controls are completely working so we'll just go and start a new game and i'll be back so guys there is something unfortunate which i want to tell you about i have never had this issue but for some reason assassin's creed rogue is not going in game on my android device inside this version of win later android you will be able to see the fps bar is stuck and if i just go to task manager it is running but it is not running at its full potential there is no increase or decrease so the game has frozen i tried reopening the game multiple times and still i am seeing the same issue so unfortunately i am not really sure what happened but the compatibility of win later 10.0 has decreased because assassin's creed rogue was one of those easy games that worked really well inside win later android nonetheless let's move on towards our next game which is going to be the official grand theft auto 4 after waiting for few seconds as you will be able to see the white screen is gone so i am not really sure this might also be an issue with the box 64 version by the way as we are using the latest 0.34 box 64 some games may not boot i just remembered that but here we go as you will be able to see our grand theft auto 4 is about to start gta series games are officially the most stable games that you can easily emulate inside win later android anyways in graphic make sure to set everything to low and i'll be back now that we have applied the best setting let's just go ahead and start a brand new game i hope this game works though if not then we'll need to change the box 64 version and there we go starting a new game it looks like this game is freezing as well so this is a very weird bug let me just go ahead and close the win later android but before doing that in task manager you'll be able to see everything is stuck so i think this is due to box 64 version we'll just go ahead and close the emulator afterwards go to set 
settings in box 64 version we'll be setting it to 0.3.2 and once again performance preset which we just created and there we go guys this time you'll be able to see our game has successfully started it did not freeze so box 64 version definitely make sure to downgrade it to 0.32 anyways i have skipped the cutscene so let's find out but i think i spoke too soon because you'll be able to see for some reason the fps is once again stuck winlater used to be the best windows emulator for android and suddenly in the winlater 10.0 update when we had lot of expectations. It works properly on my Snapdragon 8 Elite processor Android device with a Vortex graphics driver but for some reason on low end Android device it's just not working, it's not booting any games. If you guys have any idea about why this might be happening do let me know in the comment section down below. I can try going into container settings and change the turnip driver version from 25.0 to 24.1.0 but once again if we are not using new turnip driver it doesn't really mean much because the performance won't be that great. Though we'll try downgrading the turnip driver and I'll try out GTA 4 for one last time to see if it works or not. And there we go guys, changing the turnip driver actually worked as you'll be able to see we managed to boot inside game of GTA 4. But at the top left corner you'll be able to see the FPS which we are getting that is around 20, 18 to 20 FPS which is not that bad considering this is one of the lowest of the low end Android devices. But in my opinion I have seen better FPS while running GTA 4 on the same Android device in other Windows emulators like the Horizon or the Game Hub Windows emulator because they manage to utilize the full potential of your Android device even if it is low end whereas WinLater Android doesn't tend to do that. It also does not tend to decrease or downscale the graphics resolution of games so they work with better performance. In terms of win later 9.0 or 8.0 comparatively I am not seeing any major improvement even though Glipsy support has been added. So I want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about this version of win later android and how well does it actually work on your own mobile devices. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.